Jeff Howe back again for Horns247.com here as always with my co-host on the Longhorn Blitz podcast, Lifetime Longhorn 2002 UT All-American Rod Babers. And Rod, for the second game in a row, can't say the second week in a row because Texas had a bye week in there, but for the second game in a row, the Longhorns put together another impressive outing, 30-7 to over TCU. You didn't have to sit through the three-hour delay. I did in the press <laughs> box at Amon Carter Stadium. But nevertheless, this team does it again. They follow the game plan offensively. They play stifling defense. So the Longhorns just kind of keep chipping away. I think we have an identity, folks. I think we have an identity. So we're no longer in an identity crisis. No longer. Now we know we dominate the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Those two five-star running backs in the backfield, Jonathan Gray and Malcolm Brown, they show up big for us. Case McCoy doesn't make mistakes, even though he reverted back to an old case a a couple times. A little bit. A little bit. But that's what we do. Turn over, win the turnover margin, find some way to dominate both lines of scrimmage, and commit to our identity. I think that was the biggest thing. We committed to the run once again like we did it versus Oklahoma. Now, your theory is, and it's a good theory, that to be an elite program, you've got to be in the top 12 in at least one statistical category. Top 10%. Texas almost there right now, Rod, tied for 13th in the country in turnover margin. And why is that important? The research I did this summer, we've gone back and looked at it. Yep. Every Big 12 champion since Oklahoma in 08 has won the turnover margin. Yeah. That's the key to winning this conference, especially if Case McCoy is your quarterback. Yeah, since the inception of the Big 12, I believe it's 11 different times the team that finishes first in turnover margin in the Big 12 wins the conference yep. or finishes tied for first in the conference. So you said it. As long as we can keep plucking away, playing mistake-free football, that's what we want Case, Case to do. And Case is really good at that. Yeah. No doubt about it. And then you talk about this Texas defense. You hold TCU to 1.9 yards a carry. The strides this defense has made, Rod, are unbelievable. 16 sacks in the last four ball games. Steve Edmond, Adrian Phillips, these guys that we thought were lost causes or looking like real-life football players. So this Texas defense, they've got life under Greg Robinson. Yeah, and I think it starts with that defensive line. No Malcolm question. Brown, we all talked about the rock of Gibraltar you need in the middle of that defense. He has become that. It's made Chris Whaley better. He can penetrate into the backfield and book in defensive ends right now. They are playing like one of the best duos in the country. Well, especially Jackson Jeffcoat. Probably yeah. just played the best game of his senior year. Yeah, and Sid Reed is leading the team in tackles. What was the last time we had a D-lineman lead the team in tackles? It's crazy. I'll tell you what, when the only thing you can complain about is your kickoff coverage, you probably had a pretty good game. <laughs> I agree with you there, but it's contagious, though, what started the defensive line. And you got to give Krebs. It's all Greg Robinson. Yeah. Got to give props. No doubt about it. Well, that's going to do it for talking about the TCU game. And we come back with you on Thursday. We're talking about Charlie Weiss's pile of crap because the Kansas Jayhawks <laughs> are coming to Austin. We haven't had home game in forever, Rod. It's yeah. been a long time. This is the kind of home game you want, too. It's, yeah. like, it's like homecoming. You know you got the W in there. Just go out there and beat the crap. My out. birthday on September 21st was the last time Texas had a home game against K-State. So it's been over a month. Yeah, there you go. Beat the crap out of that pile of crap. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll be back on Thursday to talk about Kansas. In the meantime, stay locked into Horns247.com. Do not miss this edition of the Longhorn Blitz podcast. And as always, stay tuned to my man Rod B. Every day from 2 to 7 on Sports Talk, AM 1300 The Zone with the Sports Buffet.